The student demonstration at a university in Canada in 1969 had wide-reaching effects throughout that country and right here in Trinidad and Tobago. A new documentary called The Ninth Floor examines what happened then and draws links with the Black Power riots in Trinidad and Tobago. Sweeney Gray spoke to Terence Ballantyne, one of the students who took part in the disturbance. The Sir George Williams affair happened because some Caribbean students accused their lecturer Professor Perry Anderson of racism. Terence Ballantyne was one of Professor Anderson's Caribbean students, and the computer lab where he taught was on the ninth floor of the university. The ninth floor is about an occupation that students at the University occupied the ninth floor, which is a computer center, when you have any problems with the the affair took place in 1969. The following year in Trinidad and Tobago, a group of students at UWE were inspired by those events and decided on February 26, 1970 to march in front of the Canadian High Commission and then onto the Canadian banks scattered around the capital city in solidarity. Terence Ballantyne was never arrested in Canada for his part in the Sir George Williams affair and he returned to Trinidad and took part in some of the fiery Woodford Square lectures that formed part of the Black Power Revolution. I think it helped the movement in, 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 in Trinidad. Remember I was that year, I was in Canada. What movement? I came down, I don't remember the um, Granger, mm -hmm. etc. I came down and I met Granger and we had several meetings we had meetings in the Woodford Square, University of Woodford Square, which was one of the largest galleries I ever addressed. Much like how 1970s changed the face of banking in Trinidad and Tobago, the Sir George Williams affair did the same in Canada. In 1971, Canada adopted multiculturalism as an official policy. This may not have happened if it wasn't for the Sir George Williams affair. The ninth floor is being shown in Trinidad and Tobago on September 23rd and 26th as part of the Trinidad and Tobago Film Festival, which runs from September 20th to the 27th. It's a stylish documentary that is well-researched and benefits from having archive footage from the student riots in Canada and Trinidad, the cooperation of most of the participants, and biographical notes from certain other key figures who, though still alive, were unable to participate. Sweeney Gray, C News.